All right, high rollers, I watched the first fight, and I still can't believe he got up. I mean, how did Tyson Fury not only rise from the dead, but then dominate after he did? I'll never know that. Maybe our guest today does. They call him Smokey Joe. Joseph Felchetti is with us. He's a gambling writer, poker player, sports better, does the fantasy sports thing as well. He is the editor-in-chief with SafestBettingSites.com. He's been on with us many times. Smokey Joe, welcome back, man. Thanks for being our high roller today. Well, thanks for having me. I, I'm Just like you said, I'm excited for this fight. I think, I actually, since I watched it in 2018, I was waiting for a rematch. It took them quite a while, but they finally uh, got it set, and uh, it'll be at MGM Garden uh, this Saturday in Las Vegas. That's one of the problems with boxing, I feel, is all the different organizations. It takes so much time to put these things together, warring factions. I mean, what do you make of it? I'm glad it came together, though, right? Absolutely, and you're completely right about that. Um, I think with at least Fury and Wilder that they are sort of guys that will take on the, the best fights to a, to a large extent. I mean, I understand why they didn't immediately fight again, because there are other heavyweights like Joshua that were so, was were sort of involved. And they did fight. I think both of them fought twice since that fight. So, you know, I don't think that that's necessarily, I don't think that they were necessarily saying, well, we're not going to fight each other. But I'm glad that it's finally done now. Yeah, it had to happen. Now, I got to preface this by saying I'm a big boxing fan, but I only catch the big fights nowadays. I'm more a UFC guy. I watch that religiously. I did catch that first fight, 2018, as you mentioned. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, they went at it. I felt Fury won the fight. They called it a draw. But, I mean, he was knocked down twice. And, of course, that epic drama in the 12th round when he got his ass taken to him. How did he get up? I'm still wondering that. I know you mentioned The Undertaker is patented. Like, he's basically, like, in, uh, in the coffin. And then he's, his eyes open and he, he, get, he gets back up. That's what it sort of reminded me of. It, it was like out of WWE. And the amount that these guys jaw at each other, it's sort of like a wrestling event in, its, in itself. But, yeah, I mean, that was, I think, for me, that might have been the best fight I've watched live in, like, a, a really long time, maybe ever. Undertaker is a perfect description because he kind of rose like that. It was so late in the count. But not only that, when he got up, he seemed to control the rest of the round. He did, and he, I think both of them at that point were just totally exhausted. I really like that fight because I just feel like we saw two men just give everything they had, and that's really what boxing's about. It's not that I don't like respect Floyd Mayweather, but you know his fights are more him dancing around, not to getting hit, and not really going for knockouts. I feel like with these two, you're going to see some real boxing, some real fighting. Not that Fury can't win it, you know, by decision or, or Wilder, but you know that these two really go at each other. Well, I think you make a great point because I agree with you with uh, Team Money Mayweather. I mean, he's a great boxer, no doubt about it. But I Best really, ever, but yeah, I, I, re I really don't want to see his fights. And maybe that's just a huge compliment to him because he never seems to get hit. There's no excitement. But when you look at these contrasting styles, you've got Fury, okay? He's the boxer. He's got that reach. He's going to control the ring. And then you've got Deontay who brings in the bombs and it really is a clash, and it's exciting because it's like, which style is going to prevail? You know, I think we talked about the first fight, and you've mentioned that Fury was, you know, if you looked at the live odds at the time, he was a huge favorite to win. I do feel like Fury should have won that first fight. I feel like the split decision was controversial, and he should have won the first fight. So, in my mind, I feel like Fury has a path to, to victory in this fight. But I do think that this one is probably going to be pretty close. Yeah, I think it's going to be a great fight. And I, uh, by the way, uh, you got to check out the article at safestbettingsites.com. It's got everything written by Joseph. Betting odds, predictions, different prop bets to look at. Check it out, safestbettingsites.com. It is terrific. In that article, you call this fight, the rematch, the biggest perhaps since Lennox Lewis and Mike Tyson. Wow. Yeah, it's a big fight. In the heavyweight division, And this is a huge fight. I think this is the biggest fight in the last couple of years. I mean, it's just because, you know, we saw the first one and, and how fantastic that fight was. I am partial to Tyson Fury in this fight. I feel like, you know, there's a lot of stuff about his past, and he had some issues with addiction. He had some issues with depression. 
He's come into this training camp in shape. He has a new trainer. He's more focused. I feel like he's the more cerebral fighter. Talking about Floyd Mayweather, I, I think Fury is sort of um, has parts of Floyd Mayweather's game in his game because he's a heavyweight that can move around. Remember that Fury was the boxer that dethroned Vladimir Klitschko, the, the most dominant heavyweight we've seen in a really, really long time. So um, he can move around the ring. He's a smart fighter. I do feel like there's a lot of pass that he can win, including a knockout, which I, I think some people are kind of underestimating for Fury. For Fury. To win this fight by decision, I think he has a, a much better chance of doing that, and he, he should have really won the first fight by decision, in my opinion. They call him the Gypsy King, and the funny thing about this guy is he is a boxer. You mentioned Mayweather. Not always the most exciting style, and yet here is Tyson Fury, one of the most charismatic men in sport. Yeah, and I think both of them love to talk. So that's why this fight is really exciting, and not and not only for the for the boxing, but what they're talking about as they come into the fight as well. So, in my opinion, I feel like there's a couple ways you can go with this fight. As I said in my article, I'm not, you know, everyone wants to say they're they're very confident in their opinions when we talk about sports betting and, and writing picks and stuff like that. But I do feel like this fight is close. I like Fury. I like the over on the 9.5 rounds quite a bit. I feel like this fight will go the distance. The most likely outcome to me is Fury winning by decision. Um, that's available at like plus 155 um, at Bavada, and uh, you can find similar at my bookie. And I do think that people are, are underestimating a Fury knockout, which is around uh, plus 500, plus 450 as well. The question is, is Devontae going to land the big one? In the first fight, he landed two, couldn't get the job done. He wants revenge. I think this is going to be so thrilling, man. It's going to be... Uh, touch and go everyone's going to be waiting for that big shot yeah and and wilder has more power than you know it's 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 real that's why i say it's this is going to be a close fight i do feel feel like he does leave himself open sometimes we saw him get a couple shots in his fights uh his last fight he actually was losing on the scorecards until he knocked out uh, ortiz in, in the seventh round so there is room for fury to to get some shots in. And I know we're talking about Wilder and his power a lot, but it's not like Fury can't knock somebody out. You, you know, if Wilder has Wilder's knocked out almost every, knocked out every single guy he's fought except for Tyson Fury. And and I think um, the number of fights it's been it's been a lot of fights. He's knocked out every single guy he's fought in 42 fights besides Tyson Fury. So the guy has extreme power. But I, I do feel like we're under, underestimating Tyson Fury, his, his ability to strike back as well. Well, there's no underestimating his heart, that's for sure. And, you know, this guy's very interesting because I watched the press conference. A lot of rumors about his training camp, how that went. He says, hey, I'm okay, I am ready. And when they squared off, there was a lot of trash talk, pushing and shoving. And it looks like Fury's just trying to get under his skin. Yeah, that, that, that's what these guys are about. The thing, the thing you mentioned about the training camp is that's one of the main reasons I, I, I'm partial to Fury in this one. If you read about this guy's life, he's had a lot of issues. He was out of boxing for two years. He's had depression issues. He's had drug issues. He's made some very questionable statements to the, to the media about certain subjects. He's had a lot of uh, ups and downs in his life. And, you know, I think he's just a very cerebral fighter. I think he's a really smart fighter. I think he's at least in ring IQ, is he has Wilder beat there by a pretty decent margin. And with his head straight now, with him coming into this training camp, with those demons behind him, I, this is sort of why I'm a, a lot more interested in Fury in this fight, just because I feel like the guy, when he's on, when he's prepared, and, and when he's in good shape, which apparently right now he's in the best shape of his life, he had a little bit more weight. The trainer, said, I think he said in his... Interview, he's solid as a rock, 19 stone, 270 pounds coming for the Bronx Bomber. So I think all the arrows are pointing out for Tyson Fury as we, as we come into this one. You know, I'm partial to Tyson Fury as well. I love the characters, and I think this guy is an absolute draw. I really like his interviews. He's kind of out there. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's yes, just he, a different cat, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, he's talking about 
something in his training, he's masturbating seven times a day <laughs> for, for, for the boxing match. You know, I, I wish we could talk about the pros and cons of masturbating seven times a day and <laughs> get ready for a boxing match, but I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm going to have to trust, trust Tyson Fury uh, on that unique, you know, pre-match ritual that he has. So You know, all the coaches in all my life, they always taught me in women, weak in legs. I would assume that's the same kind of message, but hey, Maybe Tyson Fury knows something we don't. So the fight is, uh, what, Saturday night? I guess the main event starts around 9 o'clock, correct? The main uh, slate of fights will start around 9 o'clock. The pay-per-view starts around 7. I think you'll see Fury and uh, Wilder around 11 p.m. But you know how all these uh, boxing goes. You might They might not uh, start fighting until, you know, who knows, 12, 1 o'clock. I'm going to be in Vegas, 8 o'clock Vegas time. i got to be in a sports book, lay down a bed. I think I'm going to put it on Tyson and uh, hopefully he wins. Hopefully it's an exciting fight. Now, advice for anyone, you know, newbies that want to put some money down on this fight, what should they be looking for if they're going to do it from the comforts of their own home and make a bet online? Well, you can come over to safestbettingsites.com, and we have a ton of different options of sports books, of places you can bet. Uh, you know, if you read our, our uh, breakdown of the fight, we have my bookie and Bavada. Those are two of the best sites out there. Um, if, you, if you're new to online sports, but you can get a bonus and put it right on the fight. There's lots of sites offering bonuses for the fight as well. So that, that's what I would look for. And, you know, you can make a simple bet. Uh, the, the market that I uh, talk about in my, my preview, my pick article, is just who's going to win the fight straight up and a lot of times you'll have a boxing match where there's a one huge favorite and there's and there's uh, an underdog like a, a really long odds underdog where you have to lay a bunch of money to win uh let's say like you know minus 500 or and plus you know 400 or something like that but this fight is pretty much a, a pick em. i mean you could you don't you don't really have to go too crazy if on either side you can pick who you want to win it seems like it's pretty evenly matched and i sort of agree with the odds makers on that i'm partial to fury but you know, if you have a strong opinion one way or the other, there, there's it's pretty it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward to put put down a bet. Yeah, I'm thinking Fury's going to win this. I think it's going to go the distance, and I think it's going to be very exciting. Hey, also check us out. Uh, we'll be live tweeting during the fight at SBS underscore Authority as well on our on our uh, Twitter account. Yeah, let me just quickly ask you about safest betting sites. I mean, you do the whole gamma, right? All kinds of information about different betting sites, the safe ones, the ones you should be looking at, and you've got all those great deals and offers on there as well. Absolutely, and not only that, we have a strategy, we have payout reports from the top sports books, you know, news that you need to know about the offshore sports betting world, free picks. We, we really try to be a one-stop shop for, uh, for sports bettors, so come check us out. The website is safestbettingsites.com. Smokey Joe, Joseph Felchetti, our guest, at Joseph Felchetti on Twitter. Thanks, my man. Enjoy the fight. Thank you, and have a great time in Vegas.